Today marks day two of a 36 hour bonanza known as Prime Day. Yeah, but after talking about the success of sales on Monday, today we're focusing on the effect. And as 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith tells us, brick and mortar shops, of course, are falling victim to the so called Amazon effect. And he's joining us live with more on that. So, Matt, do we expect this Amazon effect to continue? Well, it, it's kind of hard to see this go away, right? Because we're continuing to see this trend grow and grow. Uh, so we know that changes are going to happen. In fact, we expect a shift. But I mean, uh, take a look behind me right now. I mean, you've got the vacant Toys R Us behind me. Uh, nothing longer or any longer inside of here because of the bankruptcy and liquidation Toys R Us. This is just one sign of the time. We could be telling this story in any major city in America, but it's not just them, right? We've also seen Sears, JCPenney, and others shutting down stores in mass. The more we see online shopping take off, the harder it is for big bloated retailers with high costs when it comes to inventory compete with the Amazons or even the Walmart.coms of the world. In fact, we're expecting more stores to shut down in 2018. S&P Global Ratings released a list of 20 retailers that are at risk as of 2018. Take a look at some of the names here. Sears, J. Crew, Neiman Marcus, Claire's made the list, and they've already announced bankruptcy since the list came out. So is Bilo, a chain to our south. But as experts will tell you, it's not just the Amazon effect. There's definitely going to continue to be uh, stores that disappear, and the reason for that is that they haven't understood the changes in technology, the changes in consumer behavior, and the way that we, that we as people want to be able to get our goods and services. Mm -hmm. So those companies that are really laser focused on that will, will continue to emerge and to thrive. Coming up at 645, we'll talk about the businesses that are doing better in 2018, the anti Toys R Us's, if you will. We'll also talk a little bit about what stores are doing to kind of get with the times and keep up. As Townsend tells me, she does expect big box retailers to stick around and she expects brick and mortar to be here, but it's going to be a shift in how we see shopping in the future. We'll take a closer look again at 645 right here on WXYZ. For now, we're live in Livonia. Matthew Smith. 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Matthew.